welcome everyone good afternoon welcome to another session of skillify by amity online i am nitika khanna and i'll attempt to take you through your mental barriers in learning mathematics have you ever wondered about why some people solve the mathematical problems very easily while others just juggle between different solutions for the very same problem i'm sure you would have if mathematics has ever been your phobia then this session is for you before moving on i would like to quote some points which you should be able to get in your mind if you want to remain confident in mathematics first thing is conceptual understanding of mathematics is never a race rather it is a marathon wherein you have to put little efforts daily in order to call your large picture as the learning of mathematics definitely after some time next thing you should understand there, there is getting right answers or correct answers was never the aim of any mathematician so please forget that belief instilled from high school that you should get correct answer for each and every problem Mathem mathematics never deals with having the correct answers rather it deals with the process to reach up to the correct answer consider mathematics as the language right like you read or write or learn any other language you make mistakes you have problems in implementation or you may forget it for some time if it is not practiced well so such is the nature of mathematics also there is one more major problem faced by many people that uh, about abstraction the ideas that mathematics offers and uh, which at times cannot be linked to the real life examples so try and do that wherever possible the abstraction should be absorbed in a way that it has to be linked to real life examples then there are a few people who ask that why at all do we need to study this can't we manage without it so people please understand that having mathematics as a subject is like reading a manual of a software or maybe a machinery which is already present in you yes human beings have the mathematical ability by birth and years of research has proved this that every one of us has that math gene in reference to this idea i would like to quote one example of a book called the math gene by a famous british mathematician keith devlin he very uh, often argues in the books that book that this is a gene present in each one of us so it is a kind of innate capacity mathematical ability is an innate capacity which is instilled already in each one of us and this book particularly aims at non mathematical audience as there is one chapter that devlin has devoted one chapter uh, named the what is this thing called mathematics so it is very very in a very uh, precise manner just focuses on how mathematics can be made easier for those beings who find it difficult to understand so i must say that you all should uh, at least have a look on the review of this book this book is very uh, nice and particularly talks about nine major mental abilities where it talks about how this these abilities have been evolved in humans and how uh, it gives us some value to survive and how it brings together to make the mathematical ability possible for human beings this is about the uh, book which you must read now let us be practical uh, and let us look at one puzzle i am going to give you where you will find four cards in front of you and there is a task to do let me just share my screen for that purpose so here is it there are four cards in front of you and there is a rule that each card is having a letter on one side and a number on the other you have to uh, follow this task that you have to flip some cards out of these four 
in order to verify one statement that if a card has a vowel on one side, then it has an even number on the other. Please be uh, aware that you do not need to flip more cards than necessary. So I'll give you five to 10 seconds to think about it. Just keep the answer in your head and critically think about the statement. I hope you got your answer by now. So, what do you feel? Which cards should we flip? The statement which is there to affirm or uh, make true is a conditional statement, like you have seen. If P, then Q type of a statement, where it is said that if there is a vowel on one side of a card, then there should be an even number on the other side of the card. So we have to pick up this card which is having A because we need to confirm that there should be an even number on the other side, which should be the other card as per you. Then there is a card 7 which should be flipped to confirm that there is a consonant and not a vowel on the other side. What is the idea behind this puzzle? At the same time, you are confirming the statement. You need to understand that such instances which in which your statement can be debunked should be ruled out. You can anyway skip uh, flipping the other two cards, B and 4, because the statement doesn't claim that every consonant should be having an odd number on the other side or every even number should be having a vowel on the other side. You should be surprised that in a study, approximately 46% of the people chose A and 4 as the answer. This is due to confirmation bias because the statement said two terms. One is a vowel and other one is an even number. This is how we logically think together and which is a wrong answer obviously the logically correct answer is a and seven i hope you enjoyed this session and uh, remember always to learn something new from mathematics and don't forget to share it with others to spread the love for mathematics thank you